Eight-year-old Marsha is Malay. The classmates are mostly Chinese, and the lessons are in Mandarin. One more time. Go on. Her father, Salim, can't read or write Chinese, but decided this was the best school for his children. Mandarin is going to be a very major language, and there is a marked shift uh, of, uh, of things towards the east, and it's an asset. Salim's decision was possible because of Malaysia's multiple streaming primary educational system. The policy called vernacular schools was established more than half a century ago, but it's coming under increasing criticism. The existence of vernacular schools is a sensitive topic here in Malaysia. Those calling for these schools to be abolished have had police reports lodged against them. There's no arguing the popularity of these schools. 60% of Indian school children go to Tamil language schools, while more than 90% of Chinese school kids go to Chinese language schools. In a country where the two biggest ethnic minority groups make up 30% of the population, the continuation of these schools is held as a fiercely guarded right. But critics of vernacular schools say the institutions inadvertently increase racial division. Groups such as Perkasa, an organization that champions Malay rights, say it's time the government considered a single school system. All countries have a single education system by using their own national language. As the argument rages, parents get on with supervising their children. For them, it's not about politics, but simply education. Florence Louis, Al Jazeera, Kuala Lumpur.